from this list of locations i need to find these locations and their distances from my location so what we'll normally do is we'll copy the address and then we'll start the chrome we'll search for google maps and then paste the address which might take a lot of time if we have a list of 200 locations so what we can do is we can automate these steps by writing a script so let me show you what we are trying to achieve here so suppose i copy this address and i can just run my script and it will do the needful depending on my internet speed hope it doesn't take much time and there you go so let me show you one more time copy the address windows r that's it there is one more way of doing this thing if i just pass the argument here if i uh, the place which i want to search i can just right away type the uh, type the name here after the name of my script and it will do the needful so let's see how we can do this so if you have python 3 installed on your desktop you can just start it start with a new file import sys web browser hyperclip why and how we need this three modules we'll see inside the program so first things first for finding a location we first need the location we need the input from the user and there are two ways of doing this like i told you pass it as an argument or copy it from the list so if i am passing it as an argument i need the sys i need the sys module sys.rgv now rgv is a function which accepts the arguments from the command line and uh, that can be our address so from those arguments we need to store it in a variable say for location equals to space character join sys.rgv so let me explain you what we did here right now when you pass an argument it gets stored suppose here i stored uh, find on map 16th cross hsr layout so when i write find on map 16th cross hsr layout just after find on map this entire part is the argument so normally when you pass it it gets stored like this and we don't want this we want our address to be a complete string it should be searched as a complete string not discreetly like this these scattered these 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 scattered parts so uh, for that we need to combine it in a string like 16 cross hsr layout so now pay attention here this space character we need because we want to join this all the elements here with the space bar with the space bar in with the space bar in between them if we don't use this space character what will happen is it will get stored like 16 cross hsr layout and we don't want that so we need the space character here and then comes join yes it will it will join it 
with the space character in between them but from but from which part to which part we don't need the address from space bar right we need the address from the first part from 16 till the last so this is the zeroth element and this is the first element this this is the second element and so on we don't need the we don't need the we don't need the zeroth element from the first element to the last element and that's what we mentioned here from first till last in python we don't mention the last thing we can just if you if you want if you want till the last we'll just leave it like this and it will take the it will it will take the elements till the last part right so yeah we want the argument from the first till the last part and we want to join it with the spaces so we have stored the location now this is how we pass the address as the argument second we want to just copy it from the list just copy it right so we can do it simply by using the control c and the control v options but i'm too lazy to do that so i'll write a script location equals to piper clip dot paste right now i want you to notice when when i am copying something from here i run the script like this only we i don't paste that i I don't paste what I copied to anywhere, right? I just copy it and then I run the script. So how does it get it pasted? So here this PiperClip module comes into the picture. What it does is it copies the it copies the elements from the clipboard. And what is clipboard? When we copy something, it gets transferred to the clipboard. What PiperClip does is it copies the element from the from the clipboard and pastes it wherever we mention this paste function. So you can notice from the name itself, it's PiperClip, right? So wherever you mention this paste function, it will copy the element from the clipboard and will store into the variable you mentioned. Here it is location. Now, where do we pass this location? Now I want you to notice one thing when we search for an address, it gets concatenated after www.google.cohen slash map slash place slash after this. The part which the part which is after this place is the address we want to search. Right. So this thing will keep changing, this last part. Rest everything will remain the same. So we'll copy this part. And we'll use web browser dot open and we'll paste that URL and the location we want to search. So this part will remain always the constant, and this part will keep changing depends on what we pass as an argument and or what we paste as an argument or we or what we copy as an argument right so that's so that's what the web browser is doing it's opening the web browser the name itself explains web browser we need chrome here or or whichever web browser you are using it will open it for you and will follow it by the url google.co.in slash maps slash place with the location you want to search now when will you pass an argument or when will you copy it from the list like it can't take the values from like we can't we can't write the same thing twice right so how will we know that we have an argument or we don't have an argument if there is no argument definitely the length of the argument will be zero right so i can close this entire thing under an if statement if length sys dot a r g v is 
is not equals to zero. If length of argument is not equal to zero past this location, else, else what we do is we copy it from the list. So here else it will copy. So here else it will copy from the list and will paste it. Or a more efficient way of doing this will be to put it greater than equals to one. Why? Because we will never have a we. Why? Because we will never have a location as a single character, right? We will always have a stream. We will always we will always have it as a string, or the number of characters will be more than one. And uh, and and one more reason for that can be we can type this we can type the name of the script and we'll leave a space bar after that. So in that case. Yeah, it will search for the space bar instead of the address we have copied from the list. So that purpose it will serve if we put it greater than equals to one. Right. So that's it. I think we can save the script now and do a test run. So we'll save it as inside a location which is a bit more accessible. I'll save it inside my D drive, inside a folder scripts. I'll name it as auto map. Do a test run because it might have some errors. And yes, it has. So here we missed a sim here we missed a colon. Let's do a test run again. Yeah, we don't need this blocks. Do a test run again. We have an error again which says the symbol is not supported between instances of list and int. So I think, oh, I forgot to put a bracket here. And I think we don't need this, this brackets also. This last, yeah, now the bracket is proper. Do a test run again. Yeah, it's working. So you see, we didn't pass any argument and the address we last copied from the list we had, this paste, this paste function, it copied the address from the clipboard and pasted it to the location and passed it here in the open function. And that's what it followed when it opened the browser. Right. Now, since the script is working now, we need to make it executable when we run it from the run window. So for that, we need to create a batch file of it, .bat. So for that, we'll save as, no, not save as, we'll put a new file at py.exe. We'll put the location of the script. And this is important, same name, automap.py percentage star file, save as, and save it in a location which is the by default location of your run window. So for me, it's C users, then the username you have on your laptop, and then select all files automap.bat so we'll test it from run first we'll put the address as the argument let's see yeah it's working and if we copy some address
that's working too but so we are done almost uh, one thing which you, which you will need to do is the piper clip this module it doesn't come pre-installed with the python so you will need to install it i will tell you how to do it uh, run command prompt pmd go inside the folder where the python exists your 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 python your python folder exists for me it is inside i think i'll see cd app data cd local cd programs cd python then cd python yeah it's for me it's far inside so make sure while you install python you install it at a location which is much more accessible yeah so inside your python directory scripts inside the scripts folder you need to get inside scripts folder scripts folder type pip install piper clip so for me it is already so for me it is already installed so it's showing the requirement is already satisfied but when you will install it, if you don't have it already in the Python, it will start downloading and will install itself.